One more time. So it's egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. Got it. Oh, hi children. I'm just uh, going over what I'm talking about today. And we're continuing with the seven I am statements of Jesus. So can you remember what we have talked about already? I am the vine and I am the bread of life. Well, this week we're talking about I am the resurrection and the life. And Jesus says this just before he raises Lazarus. So I thought we'd have a look at what happened. A man named Lazarus was sick in the village of Bethany. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. The sisters sent the message to the Lord Jesus. Lord, your dear friend is very sick. The sickness will not end in death, but it is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Although Jesus loved Martha, Mary and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for two more days. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Lazarus is dead. I'm glad I wasn't there, so that you may believe. Let's go to him. When Jesus reached Bethany, Lazarus was already dead. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes. The teacher wants to see you. People who have come to comfort her also followed. Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. <laughs> Where have you put him? Come and see. Then Jesus wept. See how much he loved him. This man healed a blind man. Couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? They came to a tomb, a cave with a stone lying against it. Remove the stone. <gasps> he has been dead for four days. The smell would be terrible. But Didn't I tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? Father, I know that you have always heard me, but because of the crowd standing here I said this, so that they may believe you sent me. Lazarus, come out! It's very sad when people we know or pets we have die. In fact, Losing someone we love is about the most difficult thing to cope with in life. But this story of Lazarus being raised from the dead by Jesus gives us a picture of what Jesus will do for all of us. Except, rather than raising us from the dead in this life, Jesus gives us something even better. New life with him in heaven. Perhaps think of it this way. While we are here on earth, we are like caterpillars in our caterpillar bodies. Being a caterpillar is good fun, as we get to enjoy living in this world, hanging out with other caterpillars and eating all sorts of nice things. Sooner or later, though, our caterpillar bodies will get worn out. This can be very sad, as when people's bodies get worn out, they die and we have to say goodbye to them for a while. It's a bit like when a caterpillar turns into a chrysalis. They stop being a caterpillar and instead are wrapped up and placed in the ground. However, Jesus never stops loving people and even though we can't see them anymore because they've died, we know that what makes them them we might say their personality, their soul, their spirit, that part of them goes to live with Jesus in heaven. 
The really good news, though, is that in heaven, Jesus gives people a new body. If we imagine that people had bodies like caterpillars in this life, in heaven, they get a new body as beautiful as a butterfly. When Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life, it means that we can trust him that even though we will all eventually die in this life, when our bodies get worn out, Jesus knows how to give us new bodies as beautiful as butterflies in heaven. And being a butterfly in heaven will be even better than being a caterpillar here on earth. Jesus gives us new life that lasts forever, so we don't need to fear because Jesus is more powerful than anything, even death. This week, perhaps you can try and give all your fears to Jesus and trust that he has the power over everything. I wonder what might happen when we do this. Let's pray and ask Jesus to help us with that. Let's get in our prayer positions. And let's say, Dear Jesus, thank you that you are the resurrection and the life. Thank you that even though our bodies will one day die, you promise to give us new life and beautiful new bodies with you and each other in heaven. Please help us to give our fears to you and trust that you are bigger than life's worries. Roll your arms. Amen. So we have watched a couple of videos, had our discussion, prayed. What time must it be now, children? Yes, it's crap thing time so what are we going to make today we are going to make a symmetrical butterfly but what will you need you will need a piece of a4 paper a pen or pencil to write with some scissors watch out they're sharp some paint brushes some paint, a hole punch, and a ribbon. Let's get crafting. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of paper, our A4 piece of paper, and we're going to fold it in half. There we go. And then what you're going to do is along this edge, you're going to draw half a butterfly. So, round of the head, a little antennae, like that, and a bit more of the head, and then a huge wing. Remember the, uh, the top wing is always bigger than the bottom wing, and then bring it down to this corner here, like so. And then you've got your uh, butterfly shape and what you're going to do is you're going to cut that out and end up with something like this. And then when you fold that out, you're going to end up with your butterfly. Okay, but what we're going to do for now is we'll fold it over the other way this time, like that, and we're going to paint on one side. So this side, so I'm going to get, I've got, I've got yellow and green paint. You can use whatever paint you like or whatever paint you've got. If you don't have paint, you could do it with felt tips, but try and get um, felt tips on the same side as the same so that it's symmetrical. So it does work better with paint though. So here's some yellow. I'm just going to do blobs. You can do uh lines but they do tend to blur a little bit and i'm going to use a different paintbrush for my green you could again you could use water if you wash your brush and um, just maybe 
dab it on some paper or a uh, cloth because it might be a bit wet but you need the paint quite wet because we want to print on the other side so I think that's my there we go that's my butterfly there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it out like that and then I'm going to fold this over onto this side and print so it'll print the paint onto the other side onto the other wings like that and then press it down you might need an adult to help you if you're very small okay right there we go make sure it's pressed down and then if you open it up there oh it's a bit tricky but we'll do it there we go there is your beautiful butterfly and then what you need to do maybe wait for it to dry to do this or the or you might get covered in paint is just do a little hole punch in the top like this there we go and then get your ribbon and push your ribbon through the hole like so pull it through now I've got paint on my ribbon now so maybe wait until yours is dry and then tie a knot in it and then you can hang it up in your bedroom or in your window for passerbys to see and there is your beautiful symmetrical painted butterfly well that's all we've got time for today i hope you've enjoyed our session remember to give all your fears to god this week and see what he does for you um, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next week for some more I Ams. Goodbye, children.